G'day friends and welcome to our um, Christmas in July. Tonight um, we're going to be playing with um, the two tone flora stamp set. This one here along with the dice and surprise surprise I've actually got um, a new stamp set from um, the annual catalogue, Brightest Glows, and we're going to be using this one here, Tis the Season. Okay, now I have done a lot of stamping um, beforehand, but I will give you the colours of what I've used on what. Okay. Um, so we'll just stick our flat arm out our um, kit out. I do apologise for the um, shadows. Okay, just let me get this straight. Now hopefully that's right. Move that back. I hope that's right. Okay, so I never know which way to push this. Maybe that way. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to burnish along our school line. Now our card is thick, but um, very vanilla. So this is, hopefully, this will turn out pretty traditional. I'm using the traditional colours in the now, so fingers crossed. So we'll just put that aside. Then we're going to bring in a piece of cherry cobbler and a piece of fairy vanilla. And what we're going to do first is emboss these two pieces with the Basics 3D in embossing folder. Now I didn't realise I hadn't done that but so bear with me while I emboss these and I'm going to emboss them together. So just bear with me. I don't do it on um, my desk because um, it shakes too much which means And you can actually hear how good my table is of the squeaky noise. So we'll just do this one. exclusives, the basics 3D folders, folders. You get a pack of three. Okay, so then what we're going to do is I was actually going to put the red on vanilla, but I think I might do vanilla on this is cherry cobbler, so we'll grab our trimmer, paper trimmer, and we'll cut off a little bit. Actually, let's do it this way, eh? Just for something different. We 
let's cut down. Uh, a little shape. This is well. Maybe I haven't done that enough, but you know what? Doesn't matter. And we'll just put that there like that. That should work. I might do that again. Just bear with me because I don't like how narrow it is. So we'll do it a little bit wider. So I'll chop the other bit. But what you could do with the bit left over, if you don't chop it twice like me, you could actually create another card with the piece, the other piece that's left over. That's a little bit better. Then I think I grabbed a piece of... I have um, gold foil and we're going to put um, layer this onto our gold foil and we're going to use the stamp and seal and just about it and out. might just add a little bit of glue. I don't usually use glue when I'm using um, foil, but we may get away with it. So we're just going to have it like that with just the tiny little bit showing. Then we'll bring in our piece of cherry cobbler and we'll adhere this to our piece of cherry cobbler. allowed um, for the ends of the gold foil to overlap so just make sure you do that when you cut your foil but all the measurements to create the card will be on my blog and there'll be a link below to my blog okay so there's a little bit of gold showing through then we're going to stick this to our base card. Now I'm thinking we could go that way. Just going to trim down there. Let's go this way, eh? Let's go portrait. Just for something a little bit different. And then we're going to stick this down onto our base card, which I think I said um, it was um, thick berry vanilla. You could have um, cherry cobbler if you wanted to. Just a personal preference. I just think um, tone on tone sometimes looks elegant, especially with very vanilla. So we'll just make sure that that's sticking down nicely. Just like that. Now we're going to bring in our flowers. The large flower I have done in um, sweet sorbet, so I stand for solid image in sweet sorbet. 
and I stamped the outline image in cherry copper. Okay, so that's one. This one I've done cherry cobbler and then I stamped the outline image so the solid image is in cherry cobbler and the outline image is in blackberry bliss. Okie dokie. Then this one is um, petal pink. It's very, very light. And that's the solid image. Then the outline image is cherry cobbler again. So, oh, that's Blackberry Bliss. Cherry cobbler. Okay. So that's those ones. Then I've done this one. Now, I don't know whether we'll use all these, but I've done this one and it's in the solid image, it's in Berry Burst. And then we've done the outline image in Blackberry Bliss. Okay, so that's those two. Then I've done the cluster of flowers. The solid image is in, oops, oops, what happened to that? Solid image is in crushed curry, and then I've stamped the outline image in pumpkin pie. I just thought it might be nice to add a little bit of um, contrasting colour. Then I've pre die cut a couple of gold leaves. Um, these are from the rhino dies okay i just thought we'd add a little bit of gold and we're gonna stamp our a couple of the smaller leaves which i haven't done i thought we'd do a little bit of stamping at least in old olop Okay, and we'll just grab some scrap very vanilla. Now I'm not going to um, I'm not gonna use the dies to die cut these. I'm just gonna fussy cut them. So we might do three just in case. Just bear with me while I just quickly go around these. Pretty easy to um, cut out. I was leave a little border just like the dies but you don't have to if you don't want to now as i said there is a link to my blog down below and on my blog will be a link to robbie's blog and she'll have her card as well as a link to her video on what how she created her card too so throughout the month of January, we're doing Christmas in July. So it's a good idea. It's a great way of making a start on your Christmas cards. That's two. And then we'll do our third one. As I said, they're pretty easy to cut out. So 
that's all our leaves done. To the side. And then all we're going to do now is bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're going to um, pop these up. So again, it's a pretty easy card, very, so we'll put that there. one I think about here and just move this dimensional and what we'll do sticky little devil is add a little bit of glue to the top because what we're going to do is overlap this one onto there just like that. Okay. So that is all nice and even then. Then um, I add that there. Just a little bit of gold, just to highlight it. Now I've just put glue on the ends of that leaf, but you could also use um, glue dots as well. Okay, so I'm just doing the same. Again, you could use glue dots if you wanted to. They do the same job. I'm just sticking that there. I didn't think I'd stuck that down. And we'll just pop that there like that. It's amazing what you can um, turn into a Christmas card with using what you have. So I don't have any Christmas sets, so to speak. Then we're gonna put this about here, I think. Maybe here, eh? Chop this off. Just there like that. Just hold that down. If 
you wanted to, you could also add a few individual of the gold to save wasting them. So we'll just trim that like that. We'll put that one there just poking out a little bit. Hold that down so it sticks. And we should have another one. Again, we'll just tidy this up just by snipping that top off. This one, I won't put any below because I'm thinking of doing um, adding ribbon below just as I've been creating this. I thought it might be nice to add a little bit of ribbon. So we'll just have that there. We won't add that one. And we won't add that one. That one's done in um, cherry cobbler and the solid image. And then the outline was done with blackberry bliss. So we won't add those. I think that's enough. do is grab a little bit of ribbon of the gold and vanilla which I've only got a little bit left and just tie a small bow Just like that. Only one little tiny one. And I think we might just add that there like that, eh? Just to finish it off. And I think it makes it a little bit more Christmassy as well. Uh, what do we need? Our scissors. And our glue dots, which I thought, yep, I do. So we'll just add... A glue dot smack bang there. We'll put it right there, I think. And then what we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. And I think what we might do with our sentiment is just fussy cut around it, eh? Let's give that a go. So, as I said, I'm using Tis the Season, and we're going to stamp it in Cherry Cobbler. Let's see how that goes. I think that would be nice. Put that aside. Just 
just make the rug. It won't matter because um, we're going to fussy cut around it, so it's not going to matter if it's straight or not. Tis the season. And we'll grab our scissors. And we're going to chop along the bottom. Coming up I'm actually going by the layout of the sentiment That looks pretty good to me. Then what we're going to do, get all those out of the way first. I think we'll put it about here, eh? So we'll pop this up. gone overboard on the dimensionals but you know what doesn't matter just like that and we'll just pop it about here eh? and that's about it Oh, and of course, we've got to have our fling, and of course, we're going to use the good old favourites, Festive Pearls. I love these. Um, this embellishment, it just seems to go, they seem to go with everything. And they're so cute. One up here, one up there. Wait, let's put it down in there. Are they the goals yet? Yeah. One there. And we'll do. Let's do one here, eh? and that is our card for today so I hope you've enjoyed that as I said um, the link to my blog is below um, click on that and you'll also get um, um, a PDF tutorial which will have a list of supplies and measurements A4 Imperial and Metric plus um, a um, letter size as well step-by-step -step tutorial as well as a link to this um, video and there's also a link to Robbie's blog as well okay so I hope you've enjoyed that it's sort of off the cuff but sometimes they, they work out the best and yeah I'm happy with the result okay thanks a lot see ya hooray Thank <laughs> you.